Hey you guys and welcome back to another year of the 12 days of Christmas. Come on in. Sometimes I feel like it's just not fair how quickly my children are growing up. So each year during the holiday season, I try to do something special with each of them that they will be able to cherish for years to come. And so today I'm going to share how you can incorporate your kids artwork for the holidays and make it center stage. Not only did this project only take a couple of hours, but we created some beautiful memories and a beautiful piece of artwork to put right in the family room. Hey you guys and welcome to the 2018 edition of the 12 Days of Christmas. Before we get started with this video, I wanted to share something kind of special that we're doing to give back to our community here in Tampa. We are absolutely the biggest fans of a local nonprofit organization called A Kid's Place of Tampa Bay. They work to keep siblings together who have been removed from their homes. So what we decided to do is to donate 10% of any of the proceeds generated from the 12 Days of Christmas videos here on YouTube back to a kid's place. And the way you can help is simply by watching the videos. Every time you watch or share, it helps us to give more back to them. So I hope you're inspired by that. I'll have a link um, to their website in the description box if you'd like to go and find out more information about their organization or to give directly to them. Thank you for a fabulous year. Thank you for sharing this time with me. I wish you much love and peace. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. On a recent trip to a craft store, I found this beautiful piece of artwork. It was the perfect size and the perfect color, but not the perfect price. They wanted $80 for it. So I figured this would be a great DIY hacking project for myself and the kids. So check out what our version looks like. Hey you guys, today we are outside in very warm Florida <laughs> um, doing a really fun Ice cream chucks here. We're gonna. <laughs> we'll continue in a minute. <laughs> hey, you guys. We're gonna do. Sorry, I was in the middle of the I don't want you to start vlogging. Okay. You done? Okay. Hey, you guys. We're gonna do a fun DIY project with my beautiful girls today. One of them just ran off because the ice cream chuck is going by. But I saw a really cool. Um, piece of artwork I needed a pop of red in the family room but it was like $80 I'm gonna show it to you guys uh, when we're not out in the Sun but I didn't want to pay that much for it so we're gonna hack it today I'm gonna share it with you it's an easy project that the kids can do and maybe it'll give you an idea to uh, get your kids involved in the holidays and then put their artwork on center stage to start, I picked up a wooden slate, some red spray paint, some glitter, and some crafting stickers, and we got right to work. I think the best tip that I can give when you're trying to incorporate your kids' crafts and arts into your main designs for the holidays is to use the same colors that you're using in your Christmas tree. In this instance, red and white. Okay, you guys, so we are ready to move forward in the project. The paint is dry, and in my mind, I'm thinking each kid can take two um, slates to decorate on their own, and then I'll take the top one. So I'll put, like, I'll put a swag or some greenery up here, and then you can do two, and then she can do two, and then he can do two when he's done helping um, Daddy outside. So I'm thinking that's what we'll do, but we've got um, glitter and white paint and um, stickers and stencils to customize this piece. And so we're just going to um, show you guys what we do. We're going to turn the volume off so we can turn our Christmas music on and have some fun and uh, get this project knocked out. Once we figured out the layout of our design, we just got right to work. We took turns painting and adding stickers and having girl talk and listening to Christmas music and just creating some really lovely memories that hopefully the girls can cherish for years to come. 
If you watched the 12 days of Christmas last year, then you know that I take someone on one time with each of my children to um, decorate their individual trees in their rooms just to watch and um, listen to them express their own creativity and individual personalities. It's just a really wonderful blessing to not only be their moms, but to get to experience their individuality. Like me, the girls are both very creative in their own ways. Um, and so it's nice to just kind of see how everything comes about. And I'm excited about displaying this artwork in the family room this year so that we can enjoy it every day. I don't have a sister, I have uh, brothers, but I hope that when the girls get older, they can look back on these videos and, and really have something that they can cherish and share with their own children. Um, you know, it's one of those things that I try not to neglect, get our family pictures done every year, take time to do these types of things every year. And so I just thought I'd share it with you guys this year too. And in the spirit of keeping it real, when I choose the colors and the stickers, I have a little more control over what the final product looks like in the main room. <laughs> As you can see, the girls did a fabulous job with our uh, DIY hack for some Christmas art. It was supposed to be a project for all the kids, but the boy twins been outside with that all day pressure washing. So we knocked it out, us girls. And um, the final piece is gonna be um, some greenery on the top. And so I had these picks that I, I picked up at the beginning of the season and didn't end up using. And so I think what I'm gonna do is just like in our video yesterday, what day of Christmas are we on? <laughs> um, lay these out and then I use these in the tree and so I'm gonna try to incorporate them into this as well because it's, um, I use them in the tree and in the garland and this sign is gonna go right next to that. So I think we can basically just do a, a big bow in the middle and a couple of these picks uh, to fill it out. What do you think? Sounds good. Yeah? And we'll be, we'll be done. And then the kids, you know, we can put this up and it can be really center stage and the kids can see their artwork um, every day. So we'll put it down here. So, all right, do you think this should go under like this? Or do you think it should go over like this? Because we can, over. over, okay. Let's try that. That way our little red balls pop, right? Mm -hmm. Let's just see how it looks. We've got family home tonight, so <laughs> you guys will hear everyone coming in and out. Um, I'm just gonna pull this off and see. So we can kind of intertwine that in, kind of like that, and then there would be a bow over it. So what do you think? Good. You like it like that? Mm -hmm. It's your sign, so you're in charge. Yeah, I think it looks good. All right, let's get her done. So what I will do, you guys did a really good job. So I'm just going to put these together first. This will give it a lot of dimension up there and that'll be cute. Chanel stem, sounds like the family's about to come inside. So. <laughs> I hear the garage closing. Put this together real tight. I'm not really sure how we're gonna attach this. I haven't figured that part out yet, but that's honestly the easy part once we get this done. So I'm just trying to make sure it's even on both sides. You don't have to hang around for this. You can go do fun stuff if you want to. <laughs> it's up to you. And, all right, so she wants this pick on top. So I'm gonna layer this on top like this, but I want them even. I got these picks uh, from Michael's 
I believe, at the end of the season last year, but we were in um, big box store today, uh, do it yourself store, and I saw them in there too. So I think they're popular this year. Wrap these stems around. Alright, make a bow. And I've mentioned before, I did a uh, how to make, oh no. <laughs> I don't have enough ribbon, <laughs> so I'm going to go find some more ribbon and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, guys, I had to, this is the ribbon that I got from Costco. It's actually in the tree. I wanted something really white up here. Hmm. Um, let's just see. I need a really nice little pop of white. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because I don't have any white ribbon. So we're just going to have to make this work. All right. So the kids have left. They went to the mall tonight for tree lighting, which I guess I'm not going to be able to go to. <laughs> Lola, relax. She's upset because she got left too. It's not nice when we get left, is it? So I'm making a bow and what I was going to say before is that if you need to see a, how to make a bow with ribbon tutorial, I did one last year and I'll link it in the video. <laughs> how are you guys liking the 12 days? I uh, got a little behind schedule this year because my tree arrived later than I had anticipated. And so I'm playing catch up to get all this content out for you. And I'm actually feeling a little tired today, <laughs> but at least I got to do this fun project with the girls. And um, I think they had a good time. So we are almost done. And then I'll show you guys where we're gonna hang this once I figure out. Oh, I know how I will attach this. I'll tie, okay, watch this. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be a piece of cake. <laughs> I'm a genius sometimes. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get this ready. Instead of tying the, uh, the knot around this part, I'm gonna tie it around the entire piece of wood of course make sure the sparkly sides turned out gosh sometimes I just amaze myself <laughs> sometimes I don't sometimes I do and it turns out to be totally awesome when that happens all right so normally I'd put a staple in this but I don't really feel like going to look for my stapler right now. So I'm just gonna wrap this stem around it. It'll be secure enough. It's not like we're gonna be messing around with the bow, so it'll be fine. And then it's gonna be like 24 karat magic. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got this, we got this. <laughs> okay, and tie this knot. I burned my finger trying to teach girl twin how to use the glue gun. She wanted to learn, so I was like, sure, I'll teach you. And I totally burned my finger. So I'm going to just fluff these out just a little, give it some dimension, let these kind of hang down. I'll whimsical so I'm making small talk I'd love to hear what your favorite video has been so far you guys seem to really like the one that I did um, yesterday for the swag and I was kind of nervous about doing a video like this because you know I don't usually present content that way but since you guys liked it so well 
I figured we'd do one more. I'd, I'd planned on doing something like this for the kids' art anyway, which is going to be in a different format. But since you enjoyed it, I'm back. And as you can see, the further we get into the 12 days, the more tired I look. <laughs> so, maybe after this, in addition to my scissors and new wire cutters, Santa Baby will uh, give me a nice facial too. <laughs> We'll see. All right. I think we're done here. Ah! I just broke off one of these little stems, but I have a handy dandy glue gun. And we're going to fix that lickety split. Okay. No problem. Yeah. So, yeah, in the comments below, tell me which video has been your favorite. We can uh, talk about anything else you'd like to see before we wrap these, this series up, which we're not even halfway done yet. So we've got plenty of time, but I already have plans for you guys. I just, I'm curious to know if there's something that you'd want to see more. All right, I made these, uh, this bow a little big. Let's see, we can finagle this around a little bit. It's the kids' art. I really should have them doing this. But they're off to the Christmas tree lighting and they left me. They didn't even ask me if I wanted to go. Guess they're like, Mommy's working, so we'll just leave her. So the tails on your bow should really be two, two on the top, two on the bottom. So I'm going to try to do that here. But I don't want to cover up their words. So I'm going to cut it short and I'm going to cut this one short. Now I'm trying to hurry so I can run up to the mall, except then I'd have to get all dressed. And sometimes I bump into you guys and when you're in Tampa and I look like this and it's like, you'll see me and you'll be like, is that her? All right. Got the mic here. So, I'm going to play with it just a little bit more, but for the most part, this is it. So now my girls and I have created a great little uh, piece of art that they will be able to have forever if they want. And uh, we'll put it uh, center stage. So I hope you are inspired by this video. I hope I'm still in the camera frame. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the 12 days of Christmas. Thank you for spending some time with me today and i lost my light by the time we were done filming so i have to give you a nighttime shot of the final product hung but i'll make sure i include it in the final home tour at the end of the series thanks so much for spending time with us today until next time love and peace <laughs>